sportsmen and sportswomen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be going out and doing a little bit of scouting for bow hunting. Now, I live out in the country, out on the edge of town, and there's been a number of very large bucks taken right in this area. I've had them on trail camera going right through the yard right here. So I have a lot of opportunity, um, but there's a lot of area to cover, and just walking around, it only gives you kind of a good idea of where things are from where you can see from the road. So today I'm gonna to use my paramotor and I'm gonna get up in the sky and I'm gonna look around here. First, looking for some big bucks, hopefully to catch on camera. But then second, just to see the different forests and see where the cover is for the animals. It's great to be able to get up there without disturbing anything, without leaving your scent around here. And then to kind of spot some of the wildlife and see where they might be going. So I'm gonna load up the paramotor into the car, head over to the park, take off and check out some of the areas. Follow along for a little white-tailed deer scouting here in late August with bow hunting coming up very quick. Let's go. safely okay right in front of me here oh bugs everywhere is the area of land that I'm looking to scout as you can see around me a lot of cornfields so we're gonna keep an eye out for deer There's these little columns of bugs everywhere. Oh, I keep flying right through them. All right, so right in front of me here, this is the woods. And I know right underneath me down here is an area that's gonna be good and set up where the deer like to lay down. I've seen them down in here before. Perfect little field right in the woods. You can see trails right through there. And what I love most about this spot is that it's so close to my house. You can see all the woods right here is what I'm gonna be looking to hunt. And right on the other side of the woods here is where I live. So it'll be easy for me to walk right out the door get to my deer stand. Beautiful night tonight, hardly any wind at all, so a perfect night to go out and get scouting. Right down right there is where my house is at. So I'll be able to walk right through these woods, so that's what I want to kind of keep an eye on. It's a pretty good sized woods. And I know the deer have a lot of passageways to go through between these woods over here and right underneath me. So I'm trying to figure out how far I want to go in to put the deer stand. Deer hunting opens up in about a month. So let's fly around and see if we can see some deer out in their habitat. See where they're hanging out. Once the corn gets cut, it'll be a lot easier to see everything. Down low there are so many little swarms of bugs, I think I'm gonna stay about this altitude. This altitude's only about maybe 150 feet. With a paramotor, the nice thing is you can get down nice and low and really look right straight down into the forest. So where those big bucks are hiding out, you're gonna be able to spot them and see where they are. Nice little open area right here. 
Now I know over here this area is already being hunted. Now this looks like a good natural area. I'm always looking for different edges where you know that the wildlife is going to stick to it. They always stick to the edges. And kind of natural choke points where if they want to go from a source of water to their feeding area. The thing around here, there's just so much food available that they can pretty much get it anywhere right now. I saw a couple bucks here the other night right over by this bridge. So that means that they're in my territory. I should be able to get them in just through grunting and a little bit of baiting that's allowed. Let's see if we can spot some whitetail right around here. We'll get it nice and low. The bugs out here are just crazy. I've seen the deer right down here before like not tonight. Oh, there they are, right underneath us. A doe and a fawn. No bucks. Beautiful little area. Looks like this guy's got a spot set up. Oh, there goes a rabbit. The cool thing with paramotors is that you're moving so slow that you can see all the wildlife, whether it's birds, Rabbits, skunks, anything like that. Paramotors are really easy to fly. It's not that difficult. It's all in the taking off and the landing. Okay, so directly in front of me here, that's the forest that I'm looking to find some spots for. So I'm going to keep hovering around the edges. With paramotors, the laws don't go above congested areas and definitely don't fly above houses. So always keep your track away and directly above safe areas. a deer. A couple deer just ran into the woods below me, but we got to find some more out in the field. I think we'll find some up here. Here we go, right here. Ah, oh, they took off. We saw three deer so far. I think now that it's sunset, we should find some more. This is the tree farm here. Well, it looks like there's a lot of good areas where the deer are on the edges. As fall comes more and more, I'll definitely be out scout looking for those big bucks from the air. It's great, nice and slow. You can see down right into everything. So it makes for an easy way to go and just kind of check around for deer. All right. Right down underneath me here, it looks like we got a doe and a fawn. They're checking me out as much as I'm checking them out. One doe, one fawn. I'm looking to get a big buck this year, not gonna lie. I'm gonna fill the freezer up and get something to put on the wall. All right, time to wrap up this flight, get back on the ground. Fun little night out scout, look for some white tails. Semi-successful, saw a few of them, no bucks though.
awesome. So as you can see, the paramotor is an excellent tool for going out scouting, whether you're looking for white-tailed deer, elk, mule deer, checking out your favorite trout stream, whatever it might be. Getting up into the sky and being able to fly very low and slow along the terrain and kind of look at things, just check things over, see where the trails are, and just get an idea of the land at a nice low speed is an awesome way to use the paramotor for, um, for getting out and just checking out the area around you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Follow along more as bow hunting progresses later into the season and see if we can get a big buck right here in the area. Thanks again for following along and we'll see you in the skies.